evening all and welcome back to High Speed Touring. Right, on today's episode we are going to fit a Power Bronze double bubble screen dark tint to the So, found some of the parts, let's crack on. Right, so hopefully in this box we should have two screens, one for the S1000RR and one for the Jixxer 750. Let's have a look. I've used Power Bronze for the last few screens for my bike, I found that they're actually really good quality, they're a bit thicker which means they last a bit longer, they don't seem to scratch as much and uh, as they're, they're a bit thicker so they're not so quite so flimsy um, which is quite nice, easy to clean so in here we have one double bubble screen, that looks like the S1000RR and there we are, one for the Jixxer 750, so we've got the two screens they come well wrapped, good, bu good wrapping in the box. Okay, there we are, let's open the bag and see what we've got. So, I like to cut the bags right at the top, keep them whole, so there we go. That's the original screen, right on there. You can see it comes with a Power Bronze logo on the side of it, just here. And uh, what we need to do is take the other screen off and mount the lugs to this, and then mount this screen. So I like to keep these bags, the polystyrene bit just tucked back inside and once we take the OEM screen off I'm going to stick it in here and just keep it, it's only been used for about 10 miles so it should almost be brand new, uh, if I ever come to sell it or need to change the screen back I can put it in the bag. The first job is to remove these four bolts here, we're going to need the Torx 25 bit as standard for BMW screws so let's go ahead and get that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and remove the four bolts. They're quite loose. There wasn't a lot of pressure at all to undo them. And they go through into some rubber grommets behind. So there shouldn't be anything that falls off. They're just standard bolts. Once you take the bolts out, just be careful. There's little tiny plastic washers underneath. And we want to save those for when we refit. Some are stuck to the rubber. Others might come off. So just be careful about that. Right, if you just gently pull the screen towards you, the two rubber lugs will pop out and then slide it upwards and the screen should come off. And what we need to do now is remove these rubber lugs out of here and put them on the new screen. So as you can see underneath here, there's small rubber lugs and where the screw, where the bolt comes through, they get condensed and squashed, which is how they form a tight seal. To get them back through, we need to push them through the front of the screen because there's a metal ring in the other side. So what you need to do is just rock them from side to side and they should come back into a cylindrical shape. Give them a squeeze, once of that just squeeze and twist and you'll see it starts to come out on the other side of the screen. Once you've got something to get hold of, just give it a rock and a pull and they pop out, nice and easy. Okay, so once we've got the new screen, I'm just gonna quickly slip it into place and just see if it's gonna fit. Yeah. I think that's going to be absolutely fine. So if that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and fit the rubber lugs. So as we're fitting the new rubber lugs to the new screen, we need to go in from the back with the large rubber squishy bit first, push it through from the back, keep pushing the rubber through, and as you push it, just get your fingers underneath and just pull it through, and there you are. Should look like that when it's finished. So you'd have a rubber lug sitting on the outside, and the cylindrical piece has come through the other side. That's what's going to make the seal and make it nice and tight. Whilst the screen's off, it's probably a good idea to just give this a quick clean because you probably won't get much of an opportunity to clean this part once the screen goes back on again without keep taking it on and off. So just give it a nice clean down, get all the water marks off. It's also a good idea to clean the inside of the screen before you put it on. It's going to be very difficult to get to. So you get your finger marks and everything off from the inside, the bits that you won't be able to reach. Okay, once you've done that, the top bits need to slide underneath the fairing, slides down, and then all we need to do now is line up the rubber bungs with the two holes. There's two holes in the fairing, there's two rubber bungs. And we're just going to push the rubber bungs through the two holes. The bottom of the two have the white washers underneath them. 
So I suggest when you uh, put the bolts back in, you use a little bit of copper grease, just so that in the future, if any water, any debris gets in there, they're gonna come out nice and easy, and they're not gonna get stuck, and we're never gonna have to strip the end of the screws to get them out. Once it's in a little bit, push down on the screen to get the rubber bun in through the hole, and then start tightening. And as you tighten, the rubber bun will compress in the hole, and that is designed, hopefully, to keep the screen in place. Oh, if you do drop the screw in the entire tub of copper paste, uh, make sure you just wipe your hands off with an old rag to get all the copper grease off and uh, give you a hand to wash before you start handling the screen again. And there we go, one screen fitted. Just as a, a note, don't over tighten the bottom two. They just need to be fairly tight to keep it in place. Once the rubber's expanded, it's not going to come out. And all that you're going to do is it expand and tear the little rubber washers underneath. Once it's fairly solid, stop turning. Once it's on, give it a quick clean, get rid of any fingerprints. As we know, always clean the screen up and down, never side to side or in circles, otherwise you'll get spoil marks. There we are, one fully fitted Power Bronze Double Bubble Dark Tint Screen. Once we've fitted the screen, we've got the OEM screen, we just to just get a bit of polystyrene, uh, foam, whatever, wrap the screen up, and we can put it back in the power bronze bag which has also got another piece of foam inside just stick that over the there okay guys well that's it for today thanks very much for watching we fit the new double bubble screen from power bronze if you like the video please hit the like and subscribe buttons below otherwise feel free to contact me leave me a message or uh, put a comment down below hope you like the video again thanks for watching see you soon bye